Hello, uh, we are out on my bike again. As you can see by the surroundings around me, I'm in the woodland, I'm at Delamere Forest, and uh, I'm hoping to get a few photographs down by Dead Lake, or Dead Pool, I call it. Now, this little bike is a bit of a treat, and uh, I've been out on it a couple of times now, and it's just a fantastic little bike to ride, and makes getting photography very, very easy if you're not very good with your feet. If you struggle walking longer distances, I mean, this is a 20 minute walk and it's gonna take me about six minutes to do on the bike. That's pretty incredible, isn't it? There's no effort, I'm literally turning the pedals and the bike is actually doing all the work itself. So if you do struggle to walk, this could be a really good help for you in doing a bit of photography and just being careful of the kids and people who are walking around. Thank you. You have to be careful of kids. There's lots of kids and dogs around. <laughs> but yeah, this is really, really good, good and helpful. Morning. never my intention to try and sell you these products that I actually do use on my video but the Askew bike I do show on my main channel as you're seeing it now because I really do think something like this can actually help your photography uh, we spend a lot of money on cameras and equipment and sometimes I know that I've got an older following and I know that some of you struggle to do the mileage and the distance and the walking and I do really think something like this little bike could really help benefit you getting along the beaches, along the trails, through the woodland and stuff like that. And I'm looking for my path, my path's on the left somewhere, I can't find it. But yeah, I really do think this could, this could help you um, if I can find my way through this bracken. Wow, summertime, the bracken's really big. So yeah, let me, let me find the path. Let's get down to Deadpool and uh, see if we can get any shots. There's gotta be something down here. Well, I've made it. I'm, a, I'm at Deadpool and the little Escute star is a little superstar. It got me down here. Getting me back up might be quite so easy. And one thing this can't do is take up fallen trees, which is that one next to me, which is blocking the path because it's a little bit heavy to be lifting. But I'm here and now all I need to do is find some photographs. There's one over there I like. There's one here with a little stump I like. I like this tree as well with a bit of growth on it. I like that. I also like the reflection in the distance. So there's definitely a few images here that I can fill my boots with. And then I'm gonna to have to leave this here and have a look on that side because I can't get the bike over that tree stump, I don't think, but we can try. Hey up, puppy. There's a dog comes down here. He keeps leaving, keep him giving me his stick. I don't know where his parents are. Oh, here comes some more. <laughs> it's a bit of a strange one. Dog's been down in the water, so they sport me reflection a little bit, but. They've gone now, so I can now have another look. I've got my ISO on 400 because I'm handheld. Uh, I'm gonna bracket for the sake of it, but I'm just really looking through the lens and trying to find something that almost looks like a pleasing image. I mean, this does straight away. I've got greenage on the bottom left. I've got that stump reflections in the background. So it just makes you think it seems to work. I like the greenage on this tree as well with this stump next to it and reflections in the background that's really pretty um, I might have to just lift the camera up a little bit higher though because I've got a small leaf creeping in on the bottom corner which I don't like but that I think is a really nice a really nice shot very green very 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 green 
um, but it, it works nevertheless. And I'm only using the 16 to 80, which is a very versatile lens, even if it's not the sharpest lens in the box. It's a very versatile lens. And I think on things like this, where you just want a, a camera that's easy, clip it on your capture clip, ride your bike around, or go for a bit of a short walk, nice reflection in there. Um, it, it's a very versatile, easy lens, 16 to 80, full frame, that's probably 24 to 105, thereabouts. And it just, like I said, it might not be the sharpest in the box, but it's water, it's got the water resistancy to having a, a gasket around it to keep a bit of the moisture out. Yeah, it's it's an easy, easy bit of photography. Let's just get this one through here as well. I think I've got enough reach with, with 80 mil. Just about get a bit closer. That's quite a nice little reflection-y shot. Just a sort of woodland, sort of just a woodlandy image. Yeah, Deadpool. This place is amazing. I've taken pictures here before, and if if I can get my hands on them on the computer, I'll pop a few up on the corner while I'm talking to you and taking pictures. Because when I was here before, or once before, I had a bit of mist, and I also had a bit of light, so I had some really, really nice images from here. So if you're in Cheshire or near Cheshire, come to Delamere Forest, look for Dead Lake, it's called, but I call it Deadpool. And uh, yeah, you can, you can nail a few real corkers down there. It's gone dead calm again now. Right, I'm going to get a few more. A very kind gentleman that's just helped me get the bike over the tree. I've just ripped the seat on this brand new bike trying to get it over a tree and I've hurt my fingers as well. It's never good. I've actually hurt my finger at work the other week and it's not playing very well. Um, but yeah, I think there's another image here. I've got this fallen tree branch that's leaning over and causing a reflection and there's this dead stump that's going up in the uh, into the sky and I quite like the bottom part of it as well. So I think I'm going to try and get a shot of this uh, just to keep the photography in motion and it's not just all about me having a fun on the bike you can see behind me how grey the sky is I could get very wet in a moment Very cool. Well, it looks like I've just found another image. So I'm gonna pop this little thing up and uh, see what we can do with it, in all fairness. Uh, I quite like that. It's got a tree leaning down and leaning over. Well, the reflection's leaning down, but I quite like it. Possibly 
a square crop. The greens are just green. So nice. And I have actually got a polarizer on the front of this. I didn't realize I had the polarizer on the front, but I've been shooting with a polarizer on now. I don't particularly like the light reflections that I'm getting. Can't get any lower, but I do like that little angle of the tree. It might end up of a square. It might end up of a, I don't know. It might end up, it might even end up a vertical shot. That's quite nice. But the greens are so punchy. Let's spin that polarizer around as well. Yeah, that's cool. Dead lake, and that's what it's like. It's just dead still. Dead, dead still. But yeah, quite nice. What about that brackeny dead stuff? It's all about them reflections and woodland reflections, and I think they're brilliant. That's a good image, I like that. Pure reflection, dead stump, brackeny stuff, greenage, lots of reflected water. Half and half, 50 50 image. Reflection. Yeah, quite like that. Right, we need to try and get this bike out of here. Oh, if I can get it out of this wood. Now I've got it in here. to get out. I don't know whether I've ripped my trousers or not but I've rode through some pretty thick brackeny stuff. <laughs> Hopefully not. But this little bike, apart from lifting it over a tree, this is brilliant. <laughs> right we're back on the easy trail now. Let's go and have a ride around Delamere Forest, around the big lake, see if we can find any more pictures and then we'll, uh, we'll be done for that. So I know I'm in the dark, I'm actually in the canopy of these trees, but I think I found my last image and it's this little stump in the water as I was whizzing down the pathway on this bike. I spotted it through the trees, so I've turned around, come back, and I'm telling you now, ooh, bike's nearly running away on its own. Let's put the stand down. Let's do that, Let's put the stand down. <laughs> it's a lot easier if you're not riding off on your own. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's such a, a, a an easy little thing to turn around and the way you can just step on it and step off is just amazing. Um, the full review is up in this corner if you want to have a look. Now I am in the dark. I've got this little stump in the, in the water here. I'm going to try a handheld shot. I think I can get it fast enough. 5.6 um, ISO 400 bracket in and uh, image stabilizer should be fine. This is going to be a nice little ah, prickles this is going to be a nice little simple shot as long as I don't end up in the water. It's going to be a very minimal looking image, very minimalistic of a tree stump and the little growth coming out the top. And I think it's going to be a right little corker. I think that's it. Um, I'm going to have a little bit more of a ride round. I've still got a bit more battery left to test out, so I'm just going to waz it around the, the woodland and around this pathway and just see if I can find anything in the trees. I know I need to be in the trees and not on the path, um, but this isn't quite it's very, it's not very good on tree roots. They're very slippery and wet. But I think this is a nice little shot to finish off with, so please like and subscribe. I know I'm in the dark. Give us that thumbs up if you can see me. And uh, yeah, it means a lot if you comment as well. So drop us a comment, tell me what you think. Um, I know it's been a bit of a bike orientated thing, but I use these bikes, you know what I do, I use the bikes to have a bit of fun when I'm taking my photographs, when there's a bit of a bland day and I'm on my own. What more can I do? You know, I might as well enjoy it. So uh, jumping out, see you soon and bye-bye. Uh,